First thing, as I said before, we think in a wrong way. Second thing, I, I told you, we don't know that. And another thing is we never stop and verify our thought process. 12 fail, yeah. So after watching this, video, uh, this uh, movie, again many 12 fail have joined. Now they are very optimistic. If he can become, I can also become IPS. But what happens is people think like, oh, Rakesh Junjunwala, multi-billionaire, I can also be, I will also invest. One of my friend did that. One of my friend did that actually. And one of my close relatives did that. <coughs> For two years, he was in depression. He lost all the money, 12 lakh invested. I think 600 rupees left. And those who are selling franchises, they say that, oh, our franchisee, 32 franchises are doing. But how many are failing? Have you told about that? They're talking about how many are successful, how many are failed. And dear friends, today, um, do you know what is the most important quality you should have? Most important quality. Can you tell me? The most important quality a human, a human has or should have, what is that? Patience, okay. Yes, communication skills, okay. Adaptability. Beyond all these things, yes. See, beyond, see, above all these things, the most important thing is there, which you are not telling me. Humanity, okay. Beyond all these things, that is the origin of all these qualities you have. It's the origin of that. Yes. Okay. Survivorship, do you know, you, I don't know how you can do this, how you can forget it. Your ability to think. Right, yes or no? Yes. Your ability to, not only you can think, but your ability to think right, in the right way, that is the most. This is, and has anyone told you how to think? All of you are nurses and doctors and... Uh, engineers. Anyone has taught you how to think? No one has. Mama has taught you? Daddy has taught you? No one? Sandeep Patel will teach you. See guys, first understand that we don't know that listen carefully. We don't know that we think wrong. Simple. It's raining. Okay. We don't know that. We don't know that. We think wrong. We don't know that. That's the problem. Our problem is we think that. We think right. And that's the reason why most of us, most of us make a mistake. See, all your behavior, all your behavior, your decisions, all your behavior, your decisions, they are influenced by, they are taken by your thought process, right? Now you join my institute. Was it your right or wrong decision? Right, sure? Otherwise Ambika would not have joined after eight years again. So it's not like we always think wrong, but sometimes, or in case of some people, most of the times they think wrong. And in fact, to be very honest, I did not know that this kind of thing exists. I was, what, thinking is wrong? You believe in your thinking? What is going on here? I was also of the same opinion. I did not know all these things. But dear friends, in the year 2014, I suffered with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And it it was like, I thought, I have gone crazy. I have gone mad. And from then onwards, nearly 11 years before, I started studying psychology. And I'm a student of a PhD, I'm an engineering student. And I study everything. Only then I believe in that. So guys, do you know, friends, that there is one technical name for this? This is called as thinking bias. Thinking bias. Bias, another name for bias is distortion or wrong way of thinking. 
In fact, there is one word called cognitions. Cognitions. What is cognitions? Cognitions means the thoughts you have. That is cognitions. Okay? Your ability to think in a right way is the most important survival skill you should have. Agree with me? Your ability to think in the right way. And I'm, I'm standing here in front of you. And I'm so proud that we are learning this topic today. And today I will teach you one of the most important cognitive biases. It is also called as survivorship bias. I'll explain you that bias. First of all, understand friends. Our thinking is influenced by four factors. Nature, nurture, culture and signature. Our thinking is influenced by four factors. Nature, genetics. Our thinking, our psychology is influenced by our parents' genes. If you have someone who has some disturbances in your family, you will definitely can see that. In fact, you will be surprised. Discipline is also genetic, do you know? But not always. Not always. A uh, couple of days before, I was watching video of uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. And you can also see the video, Cristiano Ronaldo, his opinion about his son. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo is the epitome of discipline. Is that no? I mean, I, I call him as God of discipline. But if you see his son, he was talking about his son in that video. He was saying that, my son, no. He is not disciplined. He is not focused. And he was asked, why? And he gave a nice answer. You know, he said, in his uh, Portuguese accent, he said that, well, he does not have any struggle. His life is so easy because he is son of Cristiano Ronaldo. So discipline, uh, in fact, his son should be disciplined, but sometimes we don't know. He was, he's not disciplined. Number two reason behind your faulty errors, faulty thinking is nurture. Nurture, sanskar, they influence your thinking a lot. Your upbringing, very powerful. Very powerful. Your friends influence your thought process. Your parents influence your thought process. That movie you are watching influences thought process. That useless video you are watching influences your thought process. That social media unknowingly, unknowingly influences your thought process. A girl says to daddy, daddy, I want to be a doctor. That is very good. Next day, she goes to her friend's home. Second day, she comes and says, Daddy, I want to be a dancer. Earlier, she was saying, I want to be a doctor. She went to, she went to friend's home. Now, what happened? <laughs> I want to be a dancer. Influence, that is called as influence of your, it's called as nurture. Next is culture. Already have told you what is culture. Culture, every culture has a huge influence on your thought process. And we should be proud of our Indian culture, but dear friends, something is, some things are also wrong in our Indian culture. For example, if a lady loses her husband, she becomes a widow. And the way she is treated in Indian culture, is it right? Do you think it is right? My mother suffered that. When my mother suffered that. And in one function, I mean, there was a very, there was a marriage of one very close relative. And my mother was not allowed to go in that function. I said, why? She was a widow. And since that day, she doesn't go to any function. What is this? So. This is wrong in Indian culture. Agree with me? Yes. Of course, things are changing now. Somewhere in Kolhapur, Shiro, uh, they have brought this uh, new kind of law in the Gram Panchayat that a widow, she is given respect. She can wear the Mangal Sutra, she can wear the Tika, she can wear the Sari, all. She can remarry also. Now, things are changing now. Yeah, some things are absolutely fantastic about Indian culture, like 
respecting parents and touching their feet. No doubt about this. But some things, no. Nature, nurture, culture, signature. Now I will tell you one story, you tell me what you learn from this. Okay friends, ready? Signature means what you will understand. There was one <coughs> couple in US. They had two twins. Two boys were there. And this father was an abuser, addict. He would beat their mother, beat them if they intervene in between. Alcoholic, drug addict, criminal. And these two kids helplessly, just, they, they would just watch because they couldn't do anything about it. Years passed and they became adults. One became a surgeon, one became a criminal. And they both were asked the same question. How you did this? How you became like this? Both gave the same answer. Answer was, the person who was a surgeon, doctor, he said that I had no other option. And second, criminal said that I had no other option. Answer was same, but the meaning was different. The doctor said, I had no other option because I saw my dad beating my mother. And I decided that I don't want to be like this, like him. I want to be a respectable and contributing member to the society. And the second criminal said, what I can do? My dad was like this, I saw this. So it's not my fault. What is this called? This is called a signature. Dear friends, what happens to you is not important. But how do you respond to what happens to you is very important. That is number four. So guys, understand, today I'm not here to demoralize you, but today I'm here to rectify your thinking so that in future you should not face turmoil and depression and failures in life. And that is what I'm going to tell you today. Very interesting session, all of you listen. First thing, as I said before, we think in a wrong way. Second thing, I told you, we don't know that. And another thing is we never stop and verify our thought process. Most of the time we think in the right way, but sometimes we think in the wrong way. And in some cases, some people think most of the time in the wrong way. How many of you have seen people, they start a business with confidence and it shuts down? All of you have seen such? Raise your hands. Business started with confidence and shut down. All of you have seen, you know, uh, in our old office, have you seen our old office? Above that, there are some shops. Exactly above our, shop, above our old office, there is one shop and I remember I, I was there for nearly 14, 15 years. In that shop, not a single business flourished. Every six months, eight months, they used to shut down and go home. And I used to feel so pity for them. I mean, they would open the shop, inauguration was there, and coconut roasting was there, and they would give me peda and all. I, I was sitting you know, there. Sir, we started this hotel. Sir, we started this beauty, a lot of things. And I would say that, oh my God, poor fellow. Poor fellow, started the business with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm, but I knew he's going to shut and most of them shut in six months. One or two continued for one year, maximum shut down. Now why this happens? Now don't take me wrong, Ambika. How many people participate, I mean, uh, attend the, or you know, give the UPSC exams? What is the number, do you know? How many, how many appeared for? How many candidates are there for UPSC exams? 15 lakh. How many actually are successful? 1,000? 1,000 are successful? Now, the, have you thought, then why those 99.9999% join the classes, online classes, and this and that and that? Why they do it? So they are hopeful. So they are ho right, they are hopeful, they are hopeful. But uh, come on, come on, sit. Can, do you think that this, this hopefulness is right? This is foolish hopeful, hopefulness, yes or no? This hopefulness is going to help you? No, it's going to harm you actually. So here we can't say think positive. 
You can't think positive here. I'm not saying think negative. I'm saying think logical, think rational, think factual. All those, you know, you may have seen those advertisements in Times of India. AIR number one, AIR number two, number three. And you say, oh my God, look at this. One day my photo will be here. <laughs> and you imagine your photo. Twelfth fail exam is there. All of you have seen twelfth fail. Twelfth fail, no, what is the title? Twelfth fail. fail, yeah. So after watching this, video, uh, this uh, movie, Again, many 12 fail have joined. Now they are very optimistic. If he can become, I can also become IPS. Now you will say, sir, what's the problem with you, sir? You're demoralizing us. No, I'm not demoralizing you. No. I'll tell you. All of you have seen those NEAT and ZWE results. How many appear? 15 to 20 lakh, how many get IITs, AIMS, or MBBS? Still, everyone appears and joins because somewhere they feel like, I don't know how, but I will be selected. I don't know how, but I'll be selected. Every day, someone told me, I was reading, I don't know where exactly. Three to four hundred boys and girls go to Mumbai to become actor, actors. Shahrukh Khan banenge, Amitabh Bachchan banenge. Where they land up, where they land, where they end up, they don't even become spot boys. They don't become even spot boys. But you say, oh Shahrukh Khan, look. Who is that Nawazuddin Siddiqui, right? Nawazuddin Siddiqui, right? He was a security man and he became a hero. I can also become a hero. But you haven't done the calculation, the probability. How many go, how many become. And there are so many factors in between. Luck is also there, hard work is there, consistency is there. And luck is very important in this field, yes or no? Your talent is also required. Do you know how many, how many boys and girls are preparing for cricket? They say, Virat Kohli, wow. I want to be Sachin Tendulkar. How many actually go there? 11 people go there. How many are actually trying for that? Hundreds and thousands. They don't even go to Ranji. First class also, they don't, don't reach. I know one, uh, one, one of my friend's brother was there. You know? And he used to tell me, oh, my brother, I mean, he is best in Sangli. Now he is going to try for uh, Maharashtra. Today, what he does, do you know? He's a salesman. This is called as survivorship bias. Survivorship bias. Because media will never tell you how many failed. Media will tell you only about those success stories. Junjunwala, what's his first name? Rakesh Junjunwala. How many Rakesh Junjunwalas are there actually? And everyone invests in stock and lose their money. How many invested? Anyone is there? Lost? Not yet. Not. <laughs> SIP, huh? then I am also in that category. I'm also investing in SIP. How many invest in SIP? Where do you invest then? Tabeli. SIP means systematic investment plan, am I right? Yes. It's good invest. But what happens is people think like, oh, Rake Junjun Wala, multi-billionaire, I can also be, I will also invest. One of my friend did that. One of my friend did that actually. And one of my close relatives did that. <coughs> For two years, he was in depression. He lost all the money, 12 lakh invested. I think 600 rupees left. All gone. So here, you have to be very careful, guys. I'm not saying they don't appear for UPSC. Ambika, you should appear. I will be the proudest. I can proudly tell Ambika is my student. Definitely. 
Today, one of my students is elected some officer in Maharashtra MPSC. She messaged me. I think you know her. Zadav. Prachi. Prachi Zadav. Maybe she was, I don't know, from your batch or not. She was my student. She messaged me. She got, it's not like you should not appear for NEET or, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, businesses, for example, startups are there. So I was, just now I was listening uh, news on air, all India ID news, and there was a headline. 1.5 lakh startups started. Started. How many survived? Do you know? 95 to 96 close, percent close. 95 to 96 percent close. And those who survive, out of them, again 90 percent close in the next 10 years. One or two survive. And if they survive, they have not more than 10 or 15 employees, not more than that. So here we have to be very uh, realistic. We have to think about the facts. Hey, uh, do you think I'm negative? Huh. Because I don't want to be a motivational speaker here. And you are motivated, and if a person is idiot, plus he's motivated, he becomes motivated idiot now. What happens to a motivated idiot? He will have walk, nothing else. So next time be careful about it. Definitely work hard on yourself. But if you are thinking that a 12th pass boy can become an IPS, I can also become an IPS. Yes, you can also become an IPS, but do you have that grit, that tenacity, the hard work, the patience? Do you have it? Only one criteria is that he, he failed, I also failed, so I can become. It's not, <laughs> it's not going to help you. There are so many things out there which we have to see. So we can't just be optimistic and start any business. It will shut down. All of you enjoyed? Or does this happen with you? It happens now? It, it can be anywhere. In exam also it can happen. You're very optimistic about exam and then you see the question paper and you're shocked. So, just uh, next time, you want to do any I mean, any uh, career choice you want to do, you want to make an important decision, see that survivorship bias is not there in that. You take a franchisee, and those who are selling franchises, they say that, oh, our franchisee, 32 franchises are doing. But how many are failing? Have you told about that? They're talking about how many are successful, how many are failed. And I'm sure that the percentage of failure is way, way, way higher than those who have succeeded. That also we have to see. Okay? So this session was to, uh, not to demoralize you, Definitely follow your dreams, guys. Follow your dreams. I'm not saying that not fail. You should not fail. You, should, you will fail. So you understand? I gave example of people who start business and they fail. Yes. It will fail and it should fail. It should fail. Because without failing, you can't succeed. That is also true. Let me tell you. This session is not to tell you that you can't fail, you should not fail. You should fail. There is nothing wrong in that. Learn from your failures. Get better in your craft, in your skill. Get better in that. Improve yourself, work on yourself. Grow yourself. But be realistic also. Okay?